praise the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. This is Evangelist Brenda Thompson coming to you today. Today the title of my message is The Secret Place of the Most High. My message is taken from Psalms 91. I'm reading verse 1 to 16. And my reference is Exodus chapter 12, verse 13 and 23. Psalms 17, verse 8 and Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 to 18. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers and under his wing shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flyeth by thee, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noon. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand. But it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eye shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder. The young lion and the dragon shall thou trample under thee. Because he has set his love upon thee, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on hand, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him with long life. Will I satisfy him and show him my salvation? Please turn with me to Psalm 70, verse 8. Keep me as the apple of thy eye. Hide me under the shadow of thy wings. Exodus chapter 12, verse 13. I'm reading verse 13 and 23. And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the house where ye are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the destroyer and the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. For the Lord will pass through to smite the Egyptians. And when he feared the blood upon the lintel and on the two sides, the Lord will pass over the door and will not suffer the destroyer to come in unto your house to smite. Father, I come to you today. In order name that in Jesus' mighty name, I pray the mighty name of Jesus that you will anoint the ears that hear this precious word to me. Let it be a blessing in Jesus' mighty name. Your word is already blessed in heaven. In verse 
one, it speaks about security. There is a place of safety in God, a place where we can be protected from all evil. When we allow the Lord to become our protector, then our protection, though it looks invisible, is secure. We must learn how to live and stay in our safety zone. It is called the secret place of the Most High. In verse 2, speaks about when we dwell and abide in our safe place, our stable place, which is called the secret place of the Most High, then we can boast in the Lord. The reason why we can boast in the Lord is because, number one, the Lord is our refuge. When he's our refuge, it means our shelter. Number two, our fortress, our high place, our place of safety. Number three, our God means protection. No one can hurt us, no matter how difficult our situation and circumstances see. Number four, we can also boast with confidence because he is a competent God that we can safely trust in him because he is faithful. In verse three, it speaks about positively without the shadow of a doubt. He shall deliver us from all those who are and have set traps for us to deceive, distress, and destroy us. It's called the snare of the fowler. Our reference can be seen in Psalms 120. My soul has escaped the snare of the fowler. The snare is broken and we are escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Not only from the traps that are set for us will he deliver us, but also from the deadly epidemic, the raging virus, it is called the noisome, pestilent, or pandemic. Verse 1 to 30 speaks about the voice of the Lord himself. In verse 4, it reveals his protection, his truth. What is truth? The word of God is Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man cometh unto the Father but by me. Verse 5 reveals God's response to faith. Why faith? Because there are some situations and circumstances that will come to try to interrupt our faith with fear. There, number one, the terror by night, and number two, the arrow that flies by day. In verse six, it specifically forms of fear. The pestilence that, that walketh in darkness, they can be the raging pandemic or the powers of hell and darkness. In Ephesians 
Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 to 18, speaks about spiritual warfare concerning the pestilence that walketh in darkness, how to defeat the powers of hell and darkness, the destruction that wasted and looted, whatever is lying in wait to defeat, distress, or destroy us, not only operates at night or in darkness, but also during the day. But they cannot enter because there is a place where only God's people has access and the devil's access is denied. It is called the holiest or through the veil and it's through the blood of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Glory be to your name. In verse 7, no matter who or what or how many of your enemies are coming up against you, have you ever been pursued by 11,000 warring agents? Well, in verse 7, we see that a thousand shall fall at our side and 10,000 at our right hand, but they shall not come near to, to us. In verse 8, you shall see the reward of the wicked. It's not going to be goodness, but a just reward. Verse 9, the reason for our deliverance is because thou hast made the Lord which is my refuge even the most high thy habitation when we make the Lord our refuge and the most high our dwelling place we are delivered we have the victory in verse 10 speaks about divine protection. Our divine protection can be found in Exodus chapter 12 verse 13 and 23. Verse 11 speaks about the administration of angels. It can be found in Revelation chapter 12 verse 7 to 11 about the administration of angels we have Michael the archangel we have the cherubims and the seraphim in verse 12 speaks about the designation of angels they shall bear thee up in their hands lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. In verse 13, all power is given unto us, the transference of power. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and Adam, the young lion and the dragon shall thou trample under feet. In verse 14, do you know the name of Jesus? Philippians chapter 2 verse 5 to 11. Therefore has God highly exalted Jesus and given him a name that is above every other name. That are the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow of things in heaven, things in the earth and things beneath him. There are benefits in knowing the name of Jesus. And there are benefits in using the name of Jesus. We can use the name for promotion and deliverance. Hallelujah. Verse 15. 
verse 50 speaks about prayer. Our answer, hallelujah, to pray. Verse 50 says, he shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. Hallelujah. We have benefits in our prayer life. We have victory, deliverance, and honor. And verse 16, as I get ready to conclude, speaks about satisfaction. Our satisfaction dwelling in the secret place of the Most High is longevity or long life, salvation or deliverance and breakthrough. Today as I conclude, I would like to pray a prayer of breakthrough for you. A prayer of security. A prayer for financial security. A prayer for marriages, family, and health. Father, I come to you today. I bring, oh God, all these prayer requests to you in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray the blood of Jesus. Why pray the blood of Jesus? Because the blood of Jesus annihilates or utterly destroys all people. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. I penetrate the atmosphere right now with the blood of Jesus. I pray for supernatural intervention right now. In the name of Jesus and through the blood of Jesus. The blood in your marriage, the blood of Jesus in your finance, in your family life, upon your children. The blood of Jesus. Hallelujah for your peace, your prosperity, your joy, your hope, your health and your strength, your victory, your deliverance, your breakthrough today. I plead the blood of Jesus against every warring age, agent today, the blood of Jesus. Today I want to remind you that there is a place of safety and it's the secret place of the Most High. For the blood of Jesus. For the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. For the blood of Jesus right now. I plead the blood of Jesus over all your situation and all your circumstances. Continue to use the blood of Jesus. God bless you.